Christophe. Welcome to Tazonomi Online Mathematics. Today we want to continue with uh, the topic on plane geometry. We want to take the subtopic polygons. So, per a brief uh, definition, a polygon is just any plane figure which is bounded by three or more what, straight lines. The lines that bounded the shape should be a straight line. So it means that if I have a diagram like this, this is a triangle and it is a polygon because it is any plane figure which is bounded by a wall. Three or more straight lines. In this case, three straight lines. So this is a polygon. If I have something like this, we know this is also enclosed or bounded by a wall lines but this is two straight line with a curve so this is why a polygon likewise a circle is why a polygon because there is no straight lines if i have a cylinder two straight lines and a curve so these three plane shapes or these three figures are not what polygons but this and all other uh, shapes that have what straight size so in that case if we are saying that they have three or more let's begin with number of so we are saying that if they have three straight lines it is called what a triangle what if we increase with one so let's say have four straight sides that is our quadrilateral don't forget quadrilaterals could be a square, a rectangle, uh, a rhombus, parallelogram, kite. They are all quadrilaterals. We have pentagon. Then we have six. Hexagon. Number eight is going to be octagon then if the size is what uh, nine we have nonagon then finally we have ten to be decagon so if a polygon have number of straight sides where the size is four it is quadrilateral so it means the number of sides determine the name if the size is what Five, then it's a pentagon. So these are some examples of polygon or plane figures that is bounded by what more straight lines. So they are all what you call polygons. Now we want to find what will be the sum. You know, under this we are only finding angles, sum of angles, five straight sides, finding the exterior angle. So we want to find what will be the sum of angles present in a given polygon. Already, we in our previous lesson, we started with a, a triangle whereby we say that the angles present in a triangle, if we add all these angles, it will give us what? 180 degrees. For that, we are aware. Good. What if the side is no more 3, but now it's what? 4. What will be the sum of the angle? If I add all the angles in there, what will be the sum of the angles? So, in order to do that, we need to try to see how we can draw those diagrams. So, this is a quadrilateral with how many sides? It's having four sides. We want to find out how many of the triangles, the already shapes, the sum of the angle we know is triangle. How many triangles can fit into that polygon. If I join these vertices together, I'll form two triangles. If I join this also together, I form what? Two triangles. So in this case, I have one, two. So if you are asked to find the sum of the angle here, you will be able to say there are two triangles. Therefore, if this give me 180, this will also give me 180. So the two will give me 360. So in this case, we are going to use number of triangle 2 to multiply the angle 180. So that will give us 
360 degrees. So four sided figure, any four sided figure, if you add the sum of their angles, you should be able to get 360. Everyone. Then let's see, we have. This is also five sided figure. So let's see, joining the vertices together, how many of the. So I think this is a triangle. I can join this to form, or I can also join this with one, two, three. So one, two, three. 180 plus 180 plus 180, three times. Meaning three of the triangles times 180 degrees. So this will be 500 what? 40 degrees. Let's go a step further and see if you have. This is hexagon. One, two, three, four, five, six. Six sided figure. Let's see how many triangles we can get by joining the corner or the vertices. One, two, three, four, five, six. So in a sense, we can say that we are having four times 180 to be the sum of all these angles. So this is going to be 720 as the sum of angles. So you can see that as we continue finding the sum, imagine I ask you to find the sum of all angles in a heptagon. You need to draw a diagram. We need to indicate how many triangles are there in order for us to be able to find the total sum. So we cannot continue drawing the shape. If I want to draw the heptagon, let's see. So one, two, three, four, five, six, seven. So let's stop on this. We are going to have, let's say, this join with this. So one triangle, two triangle, three, four, five. So one, two, three, four, five. Meaning five times 180. So we have zero, zero, 900. So we have 900 degree. So you can see that we need to try to develop a pattern in order to prevent ourselves from drawing a diagram. So I will see that if I have the size being four, how many triangle do I have? Two. The size being five, how many triangle do I have? Three. The size being what? Six. How many triangle? Four. Size seven. Triangle five. You can see that the relation between the number of size and the triangle is shortened by two. Size is four. Four minus two will give me this. The size is what? Five. Five minus two. Three. The size is six. Six minus two. Four. So you can see that if I want to find the sum of the angles in the polygon. I only need to subtract two from the size, then multiply the result by what? 180 to get a total sum. So let's see how we can generate that on uh, a diagram. So per what we did, the number of size, the number of triangles, then the sum of the interior angle. You will see that when the size is three, the number of triangle is one, meaning it is short by two. Two of the sides, you know, two lines come together to form an angle. So it is shortened by two, so we get one. So we are knowing that the sum of angles in the triangle is 180. When it is four, we shorten it by two to have 360 as we are having here. When it is five, we have 540. When it is six, 720. When it is seven, we have 900 and when it is 8, we have 1020. It continues. So we want to develop a pattern to see that the lines, the number of sides continue. So let's just say the number of sides 
we want to indicate it to be n, a variable that we don't know. We are not certain with. So how will I find the number of four triangles if the size is n? Previously, if it is four, it will be difference by two. So four minus two. So it means that if I assume the n to be four, it will be n minus what two or four minus two to give me the answer I'm looking for. Then how will I get the sum of the interior angles? That simply means that the answer I will get times 180. And what answer will I get? This is an algebraic expression. We can't find an answer. So this is going to be n minus 2 as our answer from this table multiplying what? 180. So it means that every time I know the size of a, a polygon, I can find a sum using this uh, formula. So n stands for the number of sides. So in all, so for any polygon that have n size, the sum of each interior angle is going to be given by what? n minus what? 2 times 180. So for example, find the sum of the interior angle of a polygon with what? 12 sides. You can agree with me here that you cannot be able to draw the, the polygon with 12 sides and be drawing lines to form triangles, count it before you multiply. So we are only going to say that sum of interior angle is given as what? n minus 2 times 180, where n is equal to what? 12. That's number of size. What n is the number of size? So it means by substitution, I'll be having 12 minus 2 times 180. Whereby 12 minus 2 is going to be 10 times 180. And that will be increase of a zero. That will be 1,800 what? Degrees. So looking for the sum of interior angle of a polygon is not that cumbersome. Very easy to find. Don't forget, at times you will also be given the sum whereby you will be asked to find number of sides. There is no big deal in that. You only write your formula. The sum of the interior angle in this case, 1,800, equate it to this. Find the value of n by change of subject. You can get the answer so easily. Good. I believe you are able to grab the concept. We will develop on this point in the subsequent episode to come whereby we will treat the interior angle in relation with the exterior angle and also a regular polygon. If you are new, consider subscribing. Thank you for watching. Share, like and leave a comment. Bye-bye.